You don't have to do that. Though. The serpent. A man, woman, and serpent stand around stage talking directly to audience. God sits upstage back to audience. Now, the serpent was more clever than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, So did God say you shall not eat from every tree of the garden? No, you may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Really? But of the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God said we shall not eat of it, neither shall we touch it, or we will surely die. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're laughing. You will not surely die. How do you know? Are you calling God a liar? Hey, it's a pomegranate. You won't die, and it will make you wise. I don't want to die. One little bite. Come on, open your eyes. No good and evil, just like him. I don't know. Exactly. Now, you don't know. But poof, in a minute? Well? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What Pointing about to him? man. He'll have what I'm having. He's an early adopter. <laughs> Woman, you must listen to me. This is God's game. Game? God is testing your most precious <coughs> gift. What is that? You'll see. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat. She ponders a moment and then takes a bite of the pomegranate. Hmm. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. He takes a bite. Hmm. <laughs> then they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. God turns to face the audience. Man, woman, where art thou? Come out of hiding. Well, this is another fine mess you've gotten us into. <laughs> us? Me? Why don't you act like a man? Compared to whom? <laughs> Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee, thou shouldn't not eat? She made me do it. <laughs> she gave me the pomegranate, and I did eat. But remember, she's the same woman that thou gavest to me. What did thou sayest? Uh, uh, nothing. God turns to the woman. What is this thou hast done? Look, I can explain. Oh, what do we have here? The world's first lawyer? <laughs> Zip thyself. A but. Zip it. A but. Zip. Yeah. I'm going to stroll through the garden. When I return, I will command thee to talk. We are so screwed. Serpent, it's your fault. He has a point. If you didn't tell me about... Shh. Yes, the <laughs> forbidden fruit. I know, but you forgot it's all a game. What? He said it's a game. It's not a game. Not a game. We're gonna die. D-I-E. God's playing you both. What about you? I'm just a pawn. Remember when God said, where are you? Come out, come out. That's a game. You think an omniscient being who could create the heavens and the earth would let a bunch of bushes and trees prevent him from seeing you? Uh, I... Don't answer that. It's rhetorical. <laughs> so, if he could already see us, why did he ask us to come out of hiding? It's all part of the game. And why do you keep saying that? He's going to spit us out of Eden like two seeds of a pomegranate. Oh, God, what have I done? Don't ask him. Let's get out of here. You with me? Stop this and listen. God could create whatever he wanted to. And he's about to create our untimely deaths. And God knows what else. <laughs> God you, knows what else. Will you uh, stop him, please? Breathe. Slow, deep breaths of blue light in your kundalini chakra. <laughs> Just listen. 
Why did God create a tree he did not want you to know about? And why did he go out of his way to warn you against it? How does human nature always respond to warnings? I don't no. know. I forgot. You're it in the human nature department right now. <laughs> okay. Human nature rebels, naturally. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> you are clever. Go on, serpent. Wisdom now flows through your veins. Man, how did blowing the whistle on woman make you feel? Like a heel? Wow, I said that. Thank you. Apology accepted. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> so, you're both wiser than you were a minute ago. Repeat this alliteration. It's God's game in the garden. Man and woman do not respond. It's God's... You still don't get it. Why did God create me? Well, because you're one of God's creatures. You're, um, I guess because you're a... Why would he create a serpent who would tempt a human to do exactly the wrong thing? Hmm? What, cat got your tongue? Have they been created yet? Oh, they will be. <laughs> Woman, can you answer my question? Why did God create me? I, uh... You must have an answer, man. You have one for everything else. Hey, no. One time I said make a left east of Eden, now I'm the punchline? <laughs> Sensitive. Then answer this. If God didn't want you to taste the fruit of the forbidden tree, why didn't he warn me not to say a word? God never talked to you? No. <clears throat> God's all powerful, right? So he could have just turned my tongue to Linguini. <laughs> but why didn't he warn me? Because it was all a game. And we lost, didn't we? You think you lost? This was both your faults. Paradise lost. Stop that, husband. You're putting enmity between thee and me. You're arguing. Look, yes, again. We never argued before we tasted that fruit. You're arguing. I'm telling you like it is. Sorry, you're right. It was the fruit talking. <laughs> <laughs> but what if God was not able to prevent me from tempting your woman to eat the fruit? What if, what if, God put free will into his game theory. What then? That's impossible. Then you'd be as powerful as God. Bingo! What? That cannot be. Of course it can't be. I'm liking you a little more, man. You stuck up for me. Perhaps I'll create you a cat. <laughs> God, is it true? Who can say with any certainty what is true and what is not? You can. You're God. <laughs> Perhaps I underestimate this creation. Take a stroll with me, man. I want you to see your new living conditions. Do I have a choice? Always. Careful. This may pinch a bit. God and man exit. I wish I could say, there goes a good man. What's that supposed to mean? It means we're finally alone. What? Has anyone ever told you you're too good for him? Who could have told me? <laughs> you need someone with vision. You need God's right-hand serpent. You were really working with God all this time? Bingo. Wait, what's bingo? You got it. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm just the fall guy. Look at me. You've got the knowledge now. Am I good or evil? Every creation myth has a fall guy. How did I know that? Good! <laughs> I see the scales have fallen from your eyes. No pun intended. Come, walk with me. God knows I'll make you happy. Pun intended that time. Serpent and woman exit, and God enters. And so this, and so this version of Genesis, woman walketh with serpent out of Eden. Think Beauty and the Beast, 4004 BC. What few realize is that with the, exchange of, with the exchange of but two letters, serpent transforms into servant. God needed a servant to give woman and man their gift of free will. And I say unto thee, don't worry about woman. My servant taught her much about the ways and the wiles and weaknesses of man, and hence the scales of her sex would forever fall from her eyes. God goes upstage and turns back to audience. Which is why this day, man never wins when he undermakes the 
when he underestimates the power of woman. Curtain and a play.